2021 Fieldman's Athletic Club Youth Scholarship Bowling Tournament. We would like to thank WSCS TV, Mr. Greg Zablocki, for once again filming our championship stepladder finals. Today's tournament is a two-division, three-person, co-ed team tournament using Baker format with handicap. We'll be awarding $81,000 in scholarships. $8,100 in scholarships. Our color commentator today, a longtime president of the Sheboygan Youth Bowling Association, Mr. Dave Posh. Thank you, Dave, for giving your in-depth analysis in today's action. Our first match today are teams that finished third and fourth place in qualifying in their divisions and will compete against each other. On lanes 21 to 22 is Division II. Uh, taking fourth place or qualifying fourth place is the Elks number two, Izzy, Sadie, and Luke. They will bowling against uh, the team that finished third in qualifying. That is uh, triple threat number two. That's Mackenzie, Robert, and Kyler. All right, in uh, Division One, bowling on lanes 19 and 20, finishing fourth in qualifying is team number seven. That is Pat, Caden, Brianna. <laughs> They're bowling against the team that finished third in qualifying. It's just is uh, Team Roke Juke. That is Justin, Kennedy, and Rory. <laughs> okay. All right, good luck, bowlers. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. And your mother. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. All right, everyone. Good afternoon to the Thielman's Athletic Club Scholarship Tournament held here at Lakeshore Lanes in Sheboygan. This afternoon, we are having the final four qualifying divisions from Division One, and Division Two, in a match play, one game Baker style, alternating frames of three bowlers. One bowler has to be of the opposite gender, so it is either two uh, male youth and one woman, or otherwise two women and one man for the teams. We would bowl in a Baker style four format of alternating frames with handicap. Team on uh, lane 20 will have 15 pins of handicap, and, a and the other team on lane 21 will have three pins of handicap. So it should be a very close match this time. The bowlers that you see bowling on the lanes on lanes 19 is Justin Gamak out of Sheboygan, Kennedy Slater out of Fond du Lac, and Rory Stubbler out of Sheboygan and Oosberg. On lanes 20 will be Pat Benninger. Caden Brudnick and Brianna Dana. On lanes 21 will be Luke Kilgore, Sadie Anderson, and Izzy Anderson. And on lane 22 will be Mackenzie Dick, Robert Tock, and Kyler Zeman. These two divisions here, the fourth place qualifier that is eliminated, each of those members will be receiving $150 in scholarship money to go on. And the team that goes on to bowl for third place will receive $250. The team, for each person, the team that finishes in second will receive $350 per person. And the team that wins this division will receive $500 per person for a total prize winning at each division of $3,750. And then at the end, we will have a grand champion match where the two divisions will come together, Division One and Division Two, and bowl to become the grand champion of the tournament. 
Ooh, big split for Rory on lane 19. There again, all of these youth that are bowling today are, every one of them are from Sheboygan, except for Kennedy Slater, who bowls out of Ledgeview Lanes, which is a partner center of Lakeshore Lanes in Fond du Lac. And most of all these youth are either bowling in the high school teams or in the middle school programs that we have here in the state of Wisconsin for the youth bowlers as well. for Justin at two eight ten. The Baker style format, especially in any format, spares will be key in this game, keeping the pocket in play and keeping yourself out of trouble. Strike from Tyler Zeman on lane 22. from Rory Stubler. Sadie, Izzy, and Luke all pull out of the Elks Lodge here in Sheboygan. Uh, Mackenzie and Robert and Kyler Zeman all pull out of Lakeshore Lanes. Pat Benninger, Caden Brudnick, and Brianna Dana are also out of Lakeshore Lanes in Sheboygan. And as I said before, Kent, Justin, and Mark Kennedy, and Rory Stubler are out of Lakeshore, and Kennedy Slater is out of Ledger. Oh, she makes a big split there. Brianna comes up across for their team and gives them a huge split conversion. There's a strike by Izzy. Caden Brudnick comes across for the strike. A big shout out to some of our sponsors for the Thielman's Athletic Club here today for promoting and donating to the youth scholarships for the Thielman's Athletic Association. Some of those would be Quick Trip uh, Convenience Centers, Larry's Distributing, which is Nicolay Water, Sheboygan Chevrolet, with Randy Romanowski, Genuine Mechanics Auto, uh, Auto Repair, Johnsonville Foods, Gaspers Auto Clinic, Eagle Woodworking. Trillium True Value Hardware, Bitter Newman in Sheboygan, Plymouth Industries, Four of a Kind Pasty Company, Gabe's Construction, and Dave's Who's In. All of them helped contribute to this total prize fund of this tournament today to be $8,100. going to be very, very close as we come to the end right now. They're in the ninth frame. And Luke comes across with a big strike. Big 
Big spare conversion by Patrick. Team of Luke Kilgore, City Anderson, Izzy Anderson ended up with 144 versus the team of Mackenzie, Dick, Robert, Tott, and Kyler Zemo at 175. They will go up against the next team of Leland Benninger, Ethan Jensen, and Layla Sershel. coming across a big strike in the 10th. The team of Rory, Kennedy, and Justin have just shot a 190 game. Caden will need the next one here. Final score, Justin Kennedy and Rory shooting 190, and Pat Trippeninger, Caden Brudnick, and Brianna Dana shooting 202. I don't think that many kids in my son's school even do it. No way. No way. No way. No way. My kid would never vape. Get your head out of the cloud. Talk to your kid about vaping. Visit talkaboutvaping.org. All right, finishing in fourth place in Division Two and winning $150 each are Izzy, Sadie, and Luke. Come on up, please. And finishing in fourth place in Division One, winning $150 each are Justin, Kennedy, and Rory. Congratulations. Congratulations, both of you. The winners of the previous match will now play, face the second place team in each division. In division two, it's Leland, Ethan, Layla. And in Division One, it's Jolene, Travis, and Dalton. Come on up, please. All right, we'll be right back after our next match. So. There are a lot of ways to reach out to a friend about their mental health. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. All right, welcome back to the Thielman's Athletic Club Youth Scholarship Tournament here at Lakeshore Lanes in Sheboygan. We're in the semifinal match now between, on lanes 19, it's Pat Benninger, Caden Brudnick, and Brianna Dana. And on lane 20, it'll be Joey Brissy, Travis Tock, and Dalton Zeman. 
On lanes 21 will be Kyler Zeman, Mackenzie Dick, and Robert Tock. And on lanes 22 will be Leland Benninger, Ethan Jensen, and Leila Serschel. On lane 19, the team of Pat, Caden, and Brianna will get 12 pins of handicap. And on lane 22, the team of Leland, Ethan, and Layla will get nine pins of handicap this time. As I said before, in this third place spot, they will each be bowling for $250 each in scholarship money. All of the scholarship money that these youth win in this in all the tournaments that they bowl in either in the state of Wisconsin or anywhere in the United States, all goes into their SMART account, which is a program that is through United States Bowling Congress, and that money is held for them through their entire bowling career until they graduate from high school. At that time, they will have the ability to use that for their college education or for their technical school education, as well as to pay off any student loans in the future or student housing now this year they added two things to that and they will also be able to transfer it to another member of their family if that family member has had four years in bowling as well so there's a tremendous amount of money out there for these youth every year in bowling as well and just in the state of wisconsin alone you're probably almost exceeding close to a hundred thousand dollars available for the youth if they bowl in all the tournaments that are out there and available to them between the Wisconsin State Youth Tournament that's held every year here in Wisconsin and all the other local tournaments that are out there in the area or tournaments available to all these youth. And as I said before, that money will be there for them when they graduate from high school for a period of eight years past their graduation date to use for their education. Big strike for Caden on lane 19. That gives them four in a row right now. A little rough start here for a team of Kyler, McKenzie, and Robert, but we should get back on track shortly. Oh, almost made the spare Layla. Shout out to the Thielman's Athletic Club and all of their sponsors, uh, including Gary Gasper, who started this tournament a number of years ago and started raising money to hold this tournament for the youth of anywhere that wants to bowl in this tournament. It's open to all youth in the United States that want to come here and bowl. As I said, it is a very unique format of a three-person baker format that the youth that bowl high school and middle school are already accustomed to bowling. But it's just got a little bit of a twist to it by having uh, a different gender person bowling on their team. Oh, 
there's another good shot and a good break for Robert. That gives them three in a row. As you can see, spares are the keys here because now the match is kind of starting to even out between Patrick and Jolene. They're starting to come back and give themselves a chance. There's another break for Patrick. All these youth that are currently going now are all out of Lakeshore Lanes here in Sheboygan. school team here at Lake Shore Lanes as well on our district. Mm, tough break for Dalton. He picks up a huge spare for their team. Kenzie as well, making the 10 pin. Caden's just going to take a little bit of a reset here. Ten split for Kyler. Ooh, big split there for Caden at nineteen. Patrick Caden and Brianna finished with 190 with their or 202 with their handicap. And Travis Dalton and Jolene ended up with 190. They did not have any handicap in there. So the score for them was 202 to 190. With that. Um, Team of Benninger, Brodnick, and Dana will be moving on to the championship. Against the team of Aiden Long, Caitlin Paulson, and Dakota Vervelde. Five strikes in a row here to finish out with the team of uh, Leland Benninger, Ethan Jensen, and Layla Sershel for a 203 with their handicap at 194 scratch. And a strike to finish it out there for a 172 game for the team of Robbie. McKenzie and Kyler Zeman. At that, uh, Leland, Ethan, and Layla will be going on to face the team in the championship match of Madison Awe, Trevor Awe, and Kyle Helling. Right back. You are there for them. We are here for you. 
Find free care guides at aarp.org slash caregiving. All right, finishing third place in Division Two and winning $250 each are Mackenzie, Robert, Tyler. Congratulations. And taking third place in Division I, winning $250 each in scholarship money, are Jolene, Travis, and Dalton. And the winners of the previous match will now face the top qualifiers in each division. In division number two, they are Madison, Trevor, and Kyle. This nice point. In division one, they are Aiden, Caitlin, Dakota. All right, we'll be right back with the division championship matches. All right, welcome back again to the Thielman's Athletic Club U Scholarship Tournament. We are now in the championship matches in each division, in the Division Two bracket and Division One bracket. In Division Two on lane 21, it'll be Leland Benninger, Ethan Jensen, and Layla Serschel going up against the team of Madison Owie, Trevor Owie, and Kyle Helling on lane 22. And on lanes 20 for our championship match, 19 and 20, and lane 19 will be the team of Aiden, Aiden Long, Caitlin Paulson, and Dakota Verveldi against the team on lane 20 of Patrick Benninger, Caden Brudnick, and Brianna Dana. Uh, Leland, Ethan, and Layla all go out of Lakeshore Lanes here in Sheboygan. On lane 22, the team of Madison, Ollie, and Trevor. Ollie bowl all out of anchor lanes in Elkhart Lake. And Kyle Helling is out of Lakeshore Lanes here in Sheboygan. On lane 19, uh, of Aiden Long, he's currently out of Lakeshore Lanes. Caitlin Paulson is out of anchor lanes in Elkhart, where she bowls. And Dakota Vivaldi is also here at Lakeshore Lanes. And the team in lane 20 of Patrick Benninger, Caden Brudnick, and Brianna Dana all bowl out of Lakeshore Lanes here. So, the second place team going away today in, this, in each of these divisions will be going home with $350 in scholarship money per person. And the championship in this match will go home with $500 per person in this match. As I indicated before, all of this money will be going into their smart accounts to be added to the current money that they've already won in other tournaments, either in Sheboygan County or in the state of Wisconsin or nationally for their secondary education once they graduate high school. The team of Patrick and Caden and Brianna have basically run the bracket from the fourth seat position and making their way all the way to the championship division. The number two seed of Leland, Ethan, and Layla have moved on to the championship match as well. Oh, 
Vamos. Yeah. There's a big strike for Leland on lane 21. And then Caitlin picks up the spare. Strike for Ethan on lane 21. Gives him a double. And Caden comes across with a huge strike for their team after an open in the sixth frame. And Layla gets a big strike for her team to turn that into a triple. it up for their team. As I said before, this tournament today will be giving away $8,100 in prize fund money to go into youth scholarships into their accounts for them. Um, for any of you that are new to wondering about youth scholarship tournaments, there is a tremendous amount of money available for these youth in the state of Wisconsin here for bowling. Wisconsin has become a very strong state as far as youth tournaments for the youth and also scholarships awarded to youth that apply for them as well as far as applying for grants or, for, or applying for scholarships to the state of Wisconsin's uh, USBC this year or last year gave away uh, 25 $2,000 scholarships to youth that are currently in high school for their education as well. So there's plenty of grants and plenty of availability for youth to either win money through bowling or through uh, scholarship applications, or if they decide to go on to college as well, there are a number of colleges that will help them out with their education by giving them scholarships, or in some instances, based on their abilities, they can even get their entire college tuition for their four years paid for by the college, as long as they bowl all four years with that school as well. So as I said, there's a lot of opportunities for these young men and women that choose to either bowl in the youth during their years up till they graduate from high school or if they choose to go on to college and bowl as well. Another huge strike for Leland and Caden in there on lanes 20 and 21. into five in a row on lane 21 for them. As I said before, usually once one person starts to get the momentum going and they can carry it through, it helps out their team entirely. Another huge strike for Caden with a messenger across. And Leland and the team of Leland, Ethan and Layla turn out to finish up with six strikes in a row to shoot 
a 217 scratch with 236 with their handicap to Madison, Trevor, and Kyle's score of a 158. Congratulations to all these youth today for bowling so well in this tournament. There were eight teams in the Division II bracket that bowled today, and these four teams went on. And in the other Division I, there were seven teams that bowled today with four teams going on. So if you ever get down here to Sheboygan, it's usually always the last week, the day after Christmas, that this tournament is held. And get a chance to come down here and bowl in this tournament once. It's a fantastic format, and there's always a lot of money to be given away. From here now, we will take the two champions of each division and move them together as one and let them bowl for the championship of the entire tournament. And they and those people will each share $200 per person as the champion of that as well. We'll be back in a moment. you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. All right, the team finishing in second place in the tournament in Division Two, winning $350 scholarship money each, is Madison, Trevor, and Kyle. Congratulations. And finishing second place in Division One, winning $350 in scholarship money, is the team of Aiden, Caitlin, Dakota. Congratulations. All right, and the winners of each division so far have won $500 each in scholarship money. Division one and two will now bowl against each other to find the grand champions of the tournament. The winners of this match will win an additional $200 each. Good luck. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. All right, welcome back again to the Thielman's Athletic Scholarship Tournament. We are now currently in the division champions matches for grand champion of the tournament between division one and division two uh, this will be a two-game match with each division bowling once on their starting pair that they bowled on and then they will flip-flop lanes and bowl on the other lane to determine a grand champion the winner of this championship match will also receive an additional two hundred dollars per person scholarship on top of the five hundred dollars per person that they've already won today and there again, I'd like to thank the athletic, uh, Thielman's Athletic Club for hosting this tournament again here at Lakeshore Lanes and their, all their sponsors that made this tournament possible for a prize fund of $8,100 today. teams currently bowling now will be uh, lane 20 will be Patrick Benninger, Caden Brednick and Brianna Dana and on lane 21 will be Leland Benninger, Ethan Jensen and Layla Sershaw Shout out to all the sponsors again for this tournament. Quick Trip, uh, Quick Trip Mini Marts, Lakeshore Lanes, Larry's Distributing, Sheboygan Chevrolet, Genuine Mechanics, Johnsonville, Gaspers Auto Clinic, Trilling Trevelia Hardware, Eagle Woodworking, Glanler Prescription, Martin Automotive, uh, Genuine Mechanics, uh, Dave Susan, Gabe's Construction, Plymouth Industries, Bitter Newman, Four of a Kind, Mm. Yep. Yep. 
And there again, our sponsors, the Johnsonville Foods, the Quick Trip Corporation, Gaspers Auto Clinic, Sheboygan Chevrolet, and Cadillac as our major sponsors of the tournament today. Patrick Benninger in the fifth frame. Every time I'm going up to Ethan, I'm like, hey, Ethan, this one's for you. All of these youth bowling here today are currently representing Lakeshore Lanes here in Chevrolet. Oh, yeah. And a big strike by Bree. Never that a that brings them three in a row right now. Ethan catches a lucky break there to give themselves a double in the fifth. Caden catches a possibly unlucky break. Now, Caden before once in practice has, has made this 7-10 split, so it's not impossible. At one of our high school practices that time, he was challenged to make it, and he did. So let's see if he can do it again. Well, he gave it a shot. Picks up the spare. His teammates are challenging him to go for it as well. Sorry for delay while we had a short time to get the dead wood out of the gutter. Oh. As I said before, spares are key to Baker Bowling for your team. But being this is a two game match, it'll be even more important to just keep making spares to try and stay ahead. Layla lives herself a small little slip. Bree got it to the pocket, but unfortunately left herself a 10 bit. Layla picks up the split. Double got her. 
That time, Caden got both of them out, the seven and the ten pin. Leland picks up the spare. Caden can help his team with another two strikes here. So the team of Leland, Ethan, and Layla in lanes 21 finished with a 193 scratch. You add in your handicap. They're currently at a 236 right now. And on lane 20, Patrick, Caden, and Brianna shot a 193 or a 181 and they had no handicap. So Patrick, Caden, and Bree are going to have a little bit of a mountain to climb, but it's not insurmountable. There again, it comes down to good shot making and making spares. If a natural disaster shows up at your doorstep, you can't just turn it away. That's why it's important to prepare for emergencies before they show up. Go to ready.gov plan to find the tools and tips you need and make a plan today. All right, we're ready to get started here with game two as they switch lanes now. So now Leland, Ethan, and Layla will be on lanes 20, and Patrick, Caden, and Brianna will be on lane 21. This game here will determine with their total pins and handicap will determine a grand champion today for an additional $200 on top per person on top of the $500 per person they won today already in the tournament for being the champions in their respective divisions. And Caden starts his team off with a strike. Patrick backs it up with a strike for a double. Oh, Ethan just missed the five pin. through the middle. She's given a shot to go for count for her team. Caden comes back with a strike on the open. Oh, and another split for Leland and their team. For Patrick. I got 
and Leland's going to go for it. And he takes count. Ethan gets a strike to start his team off. Hopefully that starts giving him some momentum after they just recently just had four opens. Hope this starts some momentum for him to keep on going. And Bree put a good shot in there again as well. Left herself a 10 pin. Oh, Layla with a good shot, but she left herself a slip split. Almost got to the pocket. Bree makes the 10 pin. Good shot. Layla gave it a shot. Tried to slide that pin over. Caden comes back with a good shot again, but leaves himself a four pin. And he picks up the spear. Leland gets the spare the hard way, but he still makes the spare for his team to get him back on track. Patrick comes back with a strike for his team. Ethan got a little high in the pocket there and left himself a split. And Bree buries one in the pocket. Brings him up with a double. Tried to go for the two, but unfortunately didn't get it there. And Caden picks up the spear. Oh, and Layla tried to get it to the pocket again, but unfortunately left herself a washout this time. Gonna try and slide it over, and she gave it a good try. Yeah, 
Leland leaves himself a 10 pin to make. And he just missed it inside a little bit. We'll be right back with the finals and the winners of the Grand Championship match. Again, thank you to all the Thielman Athletic Club sponsors and promoting new sports and scholarships in the Sheboygan tournament here and hope to see you back again here in Sheboygan next year at this time. Again, today's prize fund was a total of $8,100 with $200 as a grand champion match and a grudge match here in Division One and Division Two, and $500 to each division winners today. Again, hope to see you in Sheboygan someday. Stop back again. Thank you so much for watching the tournament today. Let's get back to girls tripping instead of solo sipping. Before we can safely come together, we need the facts on COVID-19 vaccines. Visit GetVaccineAnswers.org so you can make an informed decision when vaccines are available to you. All right, winning first place in Division One and awarded $500 each in scholarship money are Pat Benninger, Caden Bruding, Brianna Dana, please. Come on up, congratulations. And awarding $500 of scholarship money to each bowler for winning Division II and additional $200 each for winning the Grand Championship match. We are awarding a total of $700 each in scholarship money to the following Grand Champion team of bowlers. Leland Benninger, Ethan Jensen, Layla Schertzel. Congratulations. All right, this concludes the 2021 Thielman's Athletic Club Youth Scholarship Bowling Tournament. A record amount of $8,100 was given away in scholarship money. Thank you again for WSCS TV for filming our championship step ladder finals. We would also like to thank our major sponsors one last time, Sheboygan Chevrolet and Cadillac, Johnsonville Sausage Company, Quick Trip Corporation, Gaspar Auto Clinic. Thank you.